Hello, I am Dr. Harsha Reddy, Obstetrician and Gynecology, Consulting in Cloud9 Hospital, Bellendor. Eclampsia is an ex it's a rare but a, a very serious condition in which the woman has convulsions that is shaking violently of the complete body of the woman during pregnancy. It is one of the severe complications of preeclampsia. It is seen in one in every 200 women who is having preeclampsia. So why does this eclampsia happen? Now, in preeclampsia, there is a narrowing of the blood vessels supplying various organs of the body. So, when the blood supply to the woman's brain is hampered, certain changes happen in the brain, which leads to an abnormal activity, electrical activity within the brain, which can give rise to a seizure or a convulsion or in common term, it's also called as a fit. Usually, we have uh, the presentation is like the woman already knows she has a BP during pregnancy, which is preeclampsia or toxemia and they kind of uh, report to us with warning symptoms like uh, the headache is there since a few hours or since a day, the vision has become very blurring and she has developed severe right up, upper abdominal pain more on the right side. These we take as a warning, warning symptoms and we become very cautious and alert that this woman can throw a convulsion or a fit anytime. Certain times, very rarely, it can so happen that there has been no identification of a high BPDD and the attender might, attenders might bring her to the hospital telling that she had a convulsion at home. This presentation is also seen and when then we record the BP and we do other investigations, we realize that this is a case of preeclampsia along with convulsions and she has developed eclampsia now. Eclampsia can happen either during pregnancy in the antenatal period, in 50% of the cases are seen in the antenatal period and invariably the labor will start. The force of convulsion is so strong that she will get into the labor. Or 30% of the time she is already in labor and the stress of labor and the BP rising can make her throw a fit. 20% of the time they can throw a fit even after delivery. So our monitoring doesn't stop just with the delivery. We have to continuously monitor this woman after the delivery as well. Most of these convulsions are seen within 48 hours after delivery. But any convulsion seen up to 7 to 10 days and during pregnancy or 7 to 10 days after delivery is considered to be eclampsia unless proven otherwise, unless we find other causes, we have to treat it as eclampsia. So how do we treat eclampsia? The only treatment is you have to deliver her, okay. So we give certain medicines which is called as magnesium sulphate to prevent further convulsions in this woman and medicines are given to control the BP and a decision to deliver her is taken.